I feel totally ripped off. I gave blood to this movie immediately after seeing it, and I didn't even get a cookie. Fangoria Blood Drive, both Volumes 1 and 2, are simply collections of short horror films made by up-and-coming filmmakers. And while Volume 2 is far from perfect, I do feel like it is a vast improvement over Volume 1. I mean, Volume 1 definitely had a couple of shorts that stood out, but as a whole, uh, Volume 2 is just more interesting and memorable. For starters, Volume 2 is hosted by someone called Mistress Julia, who I honestly don't know much about outside of the fact that she hosted this. I should probably do some research soon. But even though she doesn't say anything especially funny, she does show a lot of personality and enthusiasm. Whereas in the first one, it was hosted by Rob Zombie. And I do like Rob Zombie, I like his earlier music as well as his earlier filmmaking, but in the first Blood Drive, he just didn't show any kind of enthusiasm. It was just like, hey, I'm Rob Zombie, this next film is called whatever the title is. I'm gonna go wait in my trailer. As for the shorts, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of what I thought of each one. The first is called We All Fall Down, which is hampered by some pretty bad acting, but the storyline is still very interesting and creepy. The Gibbering Horror of Howard Gormley is a very creepy silent film with a really cool concept and a really interesting kind of expressionistic style. Means to an End was just plain stupid, but in a really funny kind of way. Mainstream is probably the artsiest out of these shorts. It's very thin in terms of story structure, but it does have a really cool visual style. Disposer is a short film which should have been disposed of. It was just so fucking dumb, it was almost painful to watch. And guess what? The Journal of Edmund Dyers, which immediately follows Disposer, is even worse. The sound editing is bad, the music is just fucking annoying, and the dialogue is horribly written. It's just all around awful. Sawbones is very bloody, as the title would suggest, but it's also fairly dramatically effective and a bit of a thinker. And then the final short film of Blood Drive 2 is called Working Stiff, which is easily my favorite out of the bunch. I don't want to give away anything about it, but it's just a lot of fun. It's a very different version of Hell than what we're used to seeing, and I love the sort of comic book aesthetic it has going for it. So in the end, even though it does have those two shorts that are damn near unwatchable, overall Blood Drive 2 is a pretty cool horror anthology. If you're interested in seeing a collection of short films with a variety of different styles, then this one does come recommended. And as always, I hope you all have a good one.